Yeah, it's really nice being able to showcase your art to the public. Um, having your art, or well, being an artist and doing it in a studio and having it in a gallery is one thing, but taking it outside those walls and putting it physically on outside walls is quite nice that you're showcasing art and you're giving back to the community around you, enhancing their local area and just creating a nice positive space for all. Experiencing community feedback while you're painting just shows how much people engage with public art and how much it helps people to interact with one another and stop and create stories and talk with one another and yeah, feel proud about their community, I guess. We had sort of came up with the style through discussions with Simon from the River Canoe Club and just talking about um, the area and that sort of thing. And Zach and I really loved the idea of working with nature and playing off the idea of water um, since it's along the Cooks River. The initial design just started through creating the flow of the river and just creating that kind of sense and then working with our different styles between those shapes. In terms of what I do, it's very stylized. So you can look at it and go, yes, it's Indigenous art. I'm an Indigenous man of Torres Strait Island ancestry, born and raised down in Wollongong, which is Darawal country. And so I use a lot of different lines and dots to tell my personal stories. Um, it represents people coming together. So all the different circular shapes, uh, people as well as water. So having them overlap signifies everyone working as one. Reconciliation is what it's all about. And just, yeah, working in harmony. I would definitely do Perfect Match again. Yeah, it's, it's a great project and just working on it anyway and having community feedback and people passing by um, and saying how much they love it and seeing it come up is a really nice interaction as well. 